Welcome back to Soma. Let's read all about the Ark Project. Start with the opinion polls. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do, am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. Inside the Ark? Yes. There's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Is that... That must be a digital world, right? It would have to be. Or... Maybe not? 5.11 square kilometers? That's quite a lot of space. Modular space. Oh, that's just this one place that's at large. Keyword... Keywood version 4. Urban park. God, it looks beautiful. Yeah, so scan everybody's brains, put them all inside of the ship. No idea what that stuff is. Looks like they put it... Oh, it goes inside of a satellite? Inside of one of the satellites that's going to be launched in that thing? Right, because that is one of the things that they do. At one of the stations, right, is launch satellites. Closest to sun, ideal arc orbit. Calibration survey. <laughs> Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. The survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. <laughs> oh my god. How would you describe your physical condition? Uh, I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside another body. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel... altered. Describe your senses. I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. sensation of your new condition. It's disconcerting. Everything feels constructed. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Is 
somewhat. I feel like I lost myself. How do you perceive your new existence? Hmm. Like being born again? No. A direct continuation? Hmm. In terms of my perception, yeah. I went into the chair and then I just woke up there. As if it just directly picked up right where it left off. But I don't feel the same. So... Not really? It feels like it's something completely different and has nothing to do with my previous self. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? <laughs> Given that the world's apparently been destroyed? No, it's too detached from reality and everything I know. Do you rather be removed from the project and accept death? God, this really makes me think about the idea that I had before. Where perhaps he died from the brain injury. Or maybe not from the brain injury, maybe he just died of old age or whatever. A long time later. And that his intelligence that had been scanned and copied was preserved for the possibility of bringing him back to life later. And this is almost like it's asking me, almost like it's saying, your actual body is dead. Would you rather your simulated intelligence also die with it? Or maybe it's simply that this intelligence is so good, so accurate, so well simulated, that it's not just artificial intelligence, it's actual intelligence. So maybe, by pulling the plug on this intelligence, it is death. Because it is actual intelligence. Hmm. Hmm, maybe. I need to think about it. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. Oh. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. How long the scan takes that determines how far away it is, I don't know. There we go. Gonna narrow it down some more? Alright. Get as strong as the signals we can, looks like this is the strongest. Here, now we go down. Found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh no, it's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could could we get on the Ark? 
I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I feel like her voice was coming from somewhere over here. Which is weird, because... Don't forget to take me along. The Omni tool. Wait, where is it? Did I put it in here? I don't think I did. Where did I put the Omni tool? Oh, it's still in the workstation, that's right. Hold on, I'm coming. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Let's take a look around this place before we leave for the vessel. There's a couple unexplored areas. I feel like there's one more unexplored area, but maybe not. Nope, I think that's it. Alright, let's go back out into the water. any evil robots about. I think I'm okay. This thing really doesn't want to close. Duh. Uh, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Oh yeah, it did look like I could continue on this way. 
That must be where the ship is. Oh, but there's a robot. This Yeah, there's a robot there. Alright, gotta be careful. Turn my flashlight up. Oh, wait. That's a helpful one, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Look at that. That's adorable. It's got big eyes. Look at it. Oh. I wonder if that's the same robot as before, except since my security's been updated, now it doesn't hate me anymore. Follow the lights. But first, anything over here? light over there, and I want to check it out. I don't think I'm actually supposed to go here, though. Oh. Oh. Wow, well, I'm really not supposed to go here. Whoops, I'm sorry, game. I just peeked behind the curtain. Immersion ruined. That's the thing you're not supposed to look at. I've taken my Omni tool with me. I feel like I should have. Or do I still have it? Oh, I've still got it. Never mind. That's right, doors can be opened just by uh, remotely using it. You don't have to insert it. Water Slender Man. I see something big. Looks like a structure.
Ooh, there's a vessel. Find a working escape vessel. Oh, that's so cool. It's almost like it's in... Sort of like it's in zero gravity, but not quite. Underwater. Throw in a direction, it just keeps going. Emergency shuttle. Looks like that'll uh, make the ladder go down so I can reach it. Well, that's human. Freaking cup. But the cup scared me. The cup combined with the noise. Oh shit! I don't know what to do other than don't turn around. I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. Do I try to leave the room without looking at it, or do I just stay here? Pacing. According to navigation, it's Lisbon, the coast of Portugal. Any signs of life? It's in the room. Hopper, it's on fire. Everything is on fire. The flames, they're reaching all the way into the sky. It's unreal. Any signs of life? Over. No. Nothing but a massive firestorm covering the continent. Talking about the comet, I think. Okay, I need to get the fuck out of this room. This thing is not going away. Okay. Let's just leave that closed, shall we? In fact, I'm just gonna close this behind me. For extra protection. <sighs> <laughs> 
Is that Cyclone? Heroes are... Made? Mad? There's nothing worth a damn in here. Looks like a bunch of, like, propeller fins. Oh, oh, there it is. I need to get past it. Is it coming? Sounds awfully like it's coming. Okay. Keep my back to it and go this way. in case. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh god. I think it's right around the corner. Oh god, I think it's coming back too. Yep. I'm just gonna close that. I just need to get to the wheel. This is not the wheel. Ooh, ooh, this looks good. You shouldn't be able to get in here. Can't open doors, can it? Guess I'm gonna touch it again. do. I did something. The love of God, where in the hell is this wheel? Don't tell me it's in the hallway where that thing is. Oh, wait, no, I think it's right here. Yeah, here it is. Oh, and then just leaves right up there. Alright, perfect. Oh, Jesus! Go right now! Can I close that hatch? No? Okay. 
Uh. Take that. Should be right in there, but I'm curious what's around around these rooms. I don't hear any evil creatures, so I think I'm okay on this floor. Whoa! Is it on this floor? Oh shit! Okay, I think there's something on this floor. I thought it was below me. I guess it's moved. See if we can't get this thing moving. Uh, ah, oh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there, like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know, I'm going. I really have to go back out there? It's like right around the corner! Oh, fuck, it's in that room now. Which way is it going? I think it's fair to say it's on every floor, right? It can just go wherever the hell it pleases. So I'm not safe on this floor.
looks like a cargo bay. Ooh, this looks promising. This machinery has been completely taken over. It's like it's being sapped. It's being sucked dry. I can take this thing off. It's moving. Uh. It's definitely moving. Oh, wait a minute. Can I disconnect these things? Oh. That's what I'm supposed to do. Warning. Reactor <laughs> collapsed. Oh. Proceed to the emergency. Time to run. Let's see if I can remember the way back. Wait, fuck. Go oh, fuck. Uh, downstairs. Down. Even know what direction we're going in. Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the Wow was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the Wow. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Oh, blue light. Brace for impact! Shockwave. Hold on, the blast just pushed us off the plateau. What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Get this open. 
there an emergency release? Whoa. Is that one of those friendly robots? It is! Hey! Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Don't worry, Kath. I'll find a way to say that. I wonder if those cute robots are simply cute robots, or if there's something more to it. Well, regardless, they're really adorable. They even make cute noises. Also, grab. Don't worry, I won't bother you. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.